friends, Marlene here with Unique Diella. Welcome. I have a little video for you today. Well, first of all, I want to uh, say thank you to all my new subscribers. I'm trying to reach my 1,000 subbing goal that I set for myself, and I've had quite a few new subscribers, and I'm very thankful. Also, I want to say thank you to my customers. You guys are amazing, especially my repeated customers. I am so grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And okay, let's get started. I have a little video for you today. I've had several requests on to show things around my room, like how I store certain things, my drawers and things like that. And I will, I'll get to that little by little, but today I wanted to start with something simple. First of all, I'm not planning on cleaning my drawers or cleaning anything to show you it is what it is. And you guys know how it is. We're crafters and everything is not like perfect all the time. So same thing goes for this. This, um, this I call my little traveling, but it's really not traveling. It's kind of like my garden um, creative little suitcase. And mainly what I do here when I take this out is mainly Bible journaling and just some backgrounds and stuff like that on my, on my art journaling little books or maybe little cards or just something quick and I want to get it out of my system. I just pick this up. It has everything that I need in here to create. I think I even have a little bit of water. I'm not sure, but if I need anything, it will be water. Okay, so this whole project, I did this a few years back and I'm going to try to post some pictures somewhere at the end or if I can put them in between, I'll put them in like right now or something like that. This was a beat up little suitcase. I mean, it was like really, it's still beat up. I mean, it's really like really bad. So I wanted to give it new life. So I painted it this color. At first I primed it with Kiehl's. I love Kiehl's. I primed it, all of it, in the bottom, everywhere. I did the whole, the bottom is really like scratchy. And um, I did the keels, and the keels did something to the metal because it has like a metal edge here. And I guess the reaction from the keels gave it like this really neat, and it turned pink, I have no idea why, like a lavender. And it's beautiful and I love it. So it looks even extra distressed. I didn't put a seal, a coat, a seal, a coat to seal it or anything. I just left it like that. And then the inside was really nasty, so I put some baking soda for like a month just to kind of extract some of the smells. And then I lined it all up with paper, with uh, fabric. That was a little bit of a challenge, but once I figured it out and got the ball rolling, then it was fine. I'll show you. And I'll post some pictures of the progress of how I did the inside. And I try to match it to the outside just for fun. Plus, I love anything that I can put fabric to, I will do it. Okay, so the front is like this. It still works. I have the little key somewhere because when I was building it, I remember opening it up with the keys. But God knows where they are. I have like jars and jars of keys, so I don't know where they are. But anyway, I don't keep it locked or anything. See, I even went ahead and colored the handle. This is a great solution if you want to maybe store like your favorite embellishments or, I don't know, your beads or something to take to the TV room that you can just pack up and take and just do stuff over there. Sometimes I do that too, but usually when I'm watching TV, uh, I'll do something because I can't just sit there. But um, this I have to spread out a little bit more and my husband's there and I don't want to take over his space because I've taken over the entire house. So this is what I did to it. I did like a little tassel, not a tassel, I just did like this. I love this fabric. I've had it forever. I think it's not vintage. It's from Joanne or Michaels or something and I love it. So I did like a little tattered little strip and then I tied like a little bow here. And I think these are still around, those little uh, number, little tags. I glued it on because the brad's not going to hold it. So I, do, I used the E6000, which I love that for everything and then I made this super fun test um, little tassel here that I love the tassel I already had it's a leather tassel that's been um that's been uh, color dyed and then I had this little I was probably thinking of my mom when I did this I have this little heart here I actually have this little heart and then this little stone here and the tassel is on with this so I can take it and put it someplace else or something if I want to I don't think I don't know if this came with the tassel or not I'm not sure or if I put it there to be honest I don't know 
but I love the color so that's probably why I used it like I said I did this quite a few years ago and I totally forgot how, what I did what but I know this chunky charm I did do myself and this is just junky jewelry. I, I used a piece of chain, probably from a bracelet or something right here. And then I just started adding things. I added a little bird, because you know, I'm out in the yard. So of course I have to add a little bird. And then I have little beads and stuff from necklaces. This is from uh, um, a bracelet, I think. See, I try to pick the same colors of what's going on and this is all jewelry this is uh i think this is an arty cake um charm that i love so much this is an old earring in those same colors which gives it a real nice boho look more beads i love this bead right here more beads beads and more beads so when i have it standing up like that which is how i usually keep it next to my door here in my my little craft area I just have it like that so I get to see the little charm and that, I love that how that turned out so here we go it opens up let me put it down so I can show you all that I have inside and like I said it's messy in there but I know what's in there so it works for me it just opens up like that thank god that it's never open while I'm carrying it I mean it, it seals pretty well still so so it opens up like that. Let me show you real quick how I did the inside. If I can flip it this way. And... Oh, by the way, if you hear that noise, it's raining and my rain barrels are right there in front of me. So that's the noise you're hearing. It's the water because the rain barrels are full already. Okay, so I did like this little ruffle thing here and with that same fabric that's in the, that's in the little tassel over here. And I just ruffled it up and then the back I covered in this polka dot material that I like a lot. And then the, this side, the inside, I did the same way. So this is a way of taking an old ugly suitcase and making it pretty. So basically what I have in here, I have a lot of Bible journaling. I had some doodle books. I don't know if they're still in here. Just like quick little things that I can just make like a little mess, get it out of my system and put everything right back and I'm good to go. Uh, let me just show you really quick what I keep in here. First, I keep uh, this little thing if I want to mix anything or if I want to put it on a surface and I don't want to get things wet. I don't know where I got this from, but it works. And then I have some loose pages that are going to go into this journal that I'm still working on. Let me show you real quick. This is just an old art, art journal that I started. I need to bind it, but it's like an inspirational kind of journal you know I'm playing with colors and backgrounds and stamps and stencils and you trying to use all my supplies and things like that so that these pages eventually are going to go here I want to make more signatures I only have these many signatures and I still have room for more so that's like a work in progress and I find it easier to work on my pages when my when they're not in the book if I can help it if sometimes you can't help it you can't help it but anyway um these are what are these these are basically like stencils I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is kind of nasty but they're just stencils that I've done to um, for some texture and stuff and then I see these are all yet gesso because I can feel it so they're ready these are kind of ready to go these are a little bit more advanced I just did some collages more stenciling I don't know if you can see the stenciling let me See if I can. Oh, I can't change it now. I don't know. Maybe I can't. Nope, I can't. So anyway, you can't really. Can you see the stenciling? Probably not, cause it's so bright. But that's okay. Um, just collage and stuff like that. So this is very easy. This is a stencil that I love. Um, so this is very easy to just take out there and just start to build up my layer for my texture. And that's what this is for. And then this one, it's also a work in progress. And I love the size and the shape of this journal. And this is the same thing. This is usually what I'm trying to do mainly is work on the, see, just trying to build texture. This is so easy to do outside, it's like wonderful. So I keep that in there if I want to work on my journals. If I want to work on my Bible and stuff, oh, let me, I want to share this with you because I just threw it in last, 
night or the night before. I discovered a new shop on Etsy. This is the name of the shop. And she's also on Instagram, but check her out at Etsy and also on Instagram. I think she's on Instagram. I know she's on Instagram, but I'm not sure if that's her name on Instagram. Um, she has, I love her shop. Um, she has some faith-based um, things, but her whole shop is not faith-based. She has lots of other printables. She has a really pretty printable in, um, not, I don't want to say orange, but that, well, yeah, that amber material. I'm just like kind of liking that color now. Like I'm in love with that orangey, burnt orange color. And she has uh, some real pretty floral printables um, with that color. But mainly I went in there because I wanted some of these uh, for my Bible journaling. So I can put it in my little Bible journaling little pouch, which is right in there. See, and I have like bookmarks that I'm working on. Uh, so this is all like basically what are these yeah these are all basically printables that I did um, for my you know if I want to take my Bible outside I got little tabs uh, I love this I have I have laminated this and I have it in one of my books because I love it so basically I try to keep all the face faith based goodies like in one area and then I have a few more stuff over here, like rub-ons and uh, stuff like that. So this is all for my Bible journaling. And I should have this whole thing in a pouch, but I don't. Uh, and then here we go. I have all kinds of stuff in here. In this little container, I keep like little stickers. And then some of my very favorite, uh, not my favorite, but some of my washies that I love washi that I like to take when I go outside and obviously I'm always in a pink and aqua mode. Look at this one, how pretty. Look how pretty that is. So I keep some of my washies and just some um, little words and sentiments that I may want to add. I keep them in here. This is like a CD, whatever, and it broke here. So I fixed it that way so I can continue to use it. I found these adorable little pencil um, little pouches. I think I found them on Wish. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I found them on Wish. And I've bought a whole bunch and I've given a whole bunch away, but I kept these for myself. I kept a, because they were very inexpensive. I kept a set in pink and I kept a set in blue. And here I keep, I think here I just keep pencils. And of course, you know, I have to be color coordinated. Look how pretty these colors are. And this, this one, if you can see the little girl this is part of the set which is really cute so I keep my pencils here and I keep a little pencil sharpener here too for just in case here what do I keep here I think I keep my jelly pens here good on fees be nice yeah I keep some of my no these are my highlighters from my Bible um, these are my highlighters I love writing in that and a few jelly pens but these are my highlighters that I use for my Bible journaling that's what that is and then here what do I keep in here oh these are clips I keep clips here because sometimes I need to hold my pages back because I don't want to get them wet or whatever and I use this and I think I got this at a garage sale I love that and then here I think these are my favorite Costells that I love I have a lot of them and I love every single one of them. I have um, the crayons, which I love. I have most of them. And then I have the artist pens, which are great for highlighting or if you want to highlight around. I'll do, I'll do some tutorials. But I keep them here. I have a few on my desk because the brown, I think a light brown and a, I have a repeat light brown and a dark brown. I keep on my desk, but most of them I keep in here because. This is where I keep my art stuff most of the time. I have some wipes that come in very handy. Sometimes I have to moist them. Like I think these are a little bit dry. I can feel it. These I think are my jelly pens. Yeah, these are all my jelly. I love them. They write so nicely. So I try to keep them together. This is not the cap for it. I'm just, I lost the cap. And I think I got this little pouch. I don't know. 
I don't know if it was Wish or where. This I know I got in a garage sale. I love it. I love the colors. I love everything about it. And then here I just keep a few of my stamps. Just a few that I want to carry. Some tissue paper. Some Kleenex. Scissors. Uh, what else do I keep in here? Uh... Yeah, I don't like this glue that much. I like the other glue, but I keep it anyway. Uh, here I keep uh, my Sharpie markers. These are all permanent markers. So these I can use either before I seal my pages, because sometimes I like to seal my pages. But I can use these in my between my layers because they're not going to rub off. So I love... And then usually my jelly pens I use at the end. And then I have... This is more Faith base so I got to put that in a little pouch I got q-tips I have a stamp a date stamp that I like I like to stamp my pages so I know what I did these are more um, highlighters for my Bible that I have double so I'm gonna put them together I have a little bucket that's really cute I keep my water in there real quick if I need to uh, rinse some of my brushes I have a plastic uh, sometimes, especially with my, um, another clip, what is this? Uh, this is a, yeah, this is another, I have two stamps, this one and this one, and they have sentiments that I can add a little sentiment on them if you want. So I keep these here because the sentiments are different. I have a little plastic, like a tablecloth plastic liner, it's really like a hospital bed. Um, I used it in my spa, like a disposable between client things so I use that because especially if I work on my table that's out there that I like to keep it clean in my because we eat on that little little table out there in my patio so I like to always cover it just in case I spill anything but I hardly don't this is a little wax paper that I use in between the pages so that my pages don't stick together this is my watercolor which I like a lot I have more watercolor I have like tons of watercolor but this these are really like a lot so I keep that here uh, this is for when I'm mixing my paints my favorite glasses that I keep here a card to spread my paint or whatever these have to be put away this is one of those water pens that are really nice I have other ones but I love these this is a very favorite um, background stamp the little polka dots the swiss polka dots that i like some more brushes and things like that this is if i want to do a little uh speckling technique or something another card uh this is a little rubber band that i got somewhere and this little tray i made this is just an old box that i let me show you it's an old box that i did a napkin transfer technique on it just because so, i have to look at it so so basically here I just keep some of my brushes, spatula, I like to use um, eyeshadow, they're kind of like, to me they're like mica powders to be honest. And sometimes, especially if I'm doing like little images of little paper dolls or something, I use this for their little blush or whatever, which is really nice. See the bottom of my suitcase how pretty, that's the material I was telling you about. So I did the cover with the polka dot. There's my kitty cat. I did the cover with the polka dot and then the back I did in the, in the fabric that I love. Hey baby, hey baby. So here I just keep a few stamps. These are, this, I love this because it's turquoise. I have some stays on, which is permanent ink, permanent ink. These are all permanent ink. So once they dry, I can do whatever I want in front of them. So yes, this is my, this is all that I could pack in my little traveling little uh, creative little bag that I basically I don't really travel it you know I did when I came one time on a trip here to Alabama to visit my sister I did bring this and it was so nice to sit outside her little farm and just listen to the animals and do my thing but other than that I have only used it in my backyard to be honest in Miami I used it in my backyard and here I just use it in my backyard so that's it guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions let me know and like I said I'm going to put some before of this little beat up little suitcase okay thanks for watching guys stay tuned I have some tutorials coming up and I am finishing uh, some journals that I want to share with you but I want to 
get them all done. I still need to do a little bit of sewing and things like that, but they should be coming soon. Okay, thank you. And I promise I will have more little show and tell around my craft room, my space. But um, as soon as I got time, I'll do a little bit at a time. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless. Bye-bye.